Zaha Slides, how to make a multiple choice poll tutorial. I'm Mark, and if you can, open up another browser and follow along as we walk through creating a multiple choice poll step by step. Okay, if you're ready, let's begin. The first thing we'll do is log into our account. In the top right hand corner, find the red button labeled Get Started. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can now set one up, otherwise click Login down the bottom. Then enter your username and password and click Submit, and we're in. The next thing we want to do is create a new presentation by clicking New Presentation in the top left hand corner. It will ask for a name. We're going to be super creative and use the name Tutorial Poll. You can create your own unique URL if you wish, uh, which your audience can use to find your presentation. We'll make our access code Tutorial1. Okay, welcome to your new presentation. Now we can get into the fun stuff. There are a whole range of slides we can choose from, however today we'll be focusing on the multiple choice slide. Aha Slides has been designed to be very self-intuitive. As you can see, it has automatically moved onto the content section. If you wish to go back, you can click type and change the type of slide you're using, but for now, we're happy with our selection. Next, we're going to ask a question. In our presentation, we're going to ask our audience what they think is the most important factor in a good presentation. And then we're going to give them some options. In each box, we will type one possible answer. So we'll have the visuals, the content, the speaker, and to add extra options, click the button labeled add or simply hit tab. And our fourth option will be the audience. Now that we have our question and answers, there are a few more options we need to think about. Do you want your audience to be able to choose multiple answers? If so, select this box. If there is a right answer, tick this box. You can then mark the correct answer in the boxes to the right of each option. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are not going to have a correct answer. If you want to hide the results so that they don't influence anyone that hasn't answered yet, tick this box. Do you want to see the results as a percentage of your audience? You can by clicking this box. You should also note that you can change this during your presentation. If you only want to poll your audience for a limited time, then select Stop Submissions when you have collected the answers you need. Finally, we need to select how we want our results to be presented. To show you this, I will just quickly flick to a presentation I prepared earlier. As you can see, results can be displayed in either a bar graph, a donut, or a pie chart. You can also give your slide a custom appearance. Just click on background and then add image. You can either upload an image or select from the thousands we have on file. And that's it. We've now created a multiple choice poll question. Let's see how it looks. By clicking present in the top right hand corner, we can preview how this slide will look as part of our presentation. You can see each of our options there waiting for a response from the audience. Okay, close this view by going to the menu in the bottom left hand corner and selecting close presentation. Now we will see how it looks for our audience. Down the bottom in the middle, click on participant view. This will bring up a mobile phone. You should see your question and the multiple choice answers. Your audience will select their answer and click submit. On the left, you can see where the results are now showing. Click the black X at the top right of the preview phone to close it. Now let's see it in action. Your audience can connect with your presentation either with your QR code or by typing your presentation's unique access code into their web browser. The poll will load and then your audience inputs their answer and presses submit. Your presentation will update itself on the spot and that's it. You've now added a multiple choice poll to your presentation. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.